Welcome to Vincent's people, hope you enjoyed your day. Founded in 1963 by an eccentric sportsman who uh, uniquely coached both the Oxford and Cambridge boat crews. And he also invented Cox's ride well by simply throwing his Cox out and started a race at Henley. Uh, steered the boat himself, uh, won the race by about 80 yards, but got disqualified, but that's how Cox's ride actually started. Um, it's uh, a private members club uh, for sports men and women at Oxford University. What that means is you have to to join you're nominated by your peers. If you've excelled on this field of sport, uh, or outside some sort of way, probably you know, stood you around the bars of where, then you may well get a letter saying, would you like to become a member of, of Vincent's? Uh, there are about 100, uh, 120 uh, resident members, usually undergraduates and postgraduate university, but 5,000 members uh, worldwide. Um, and uh, they include two former prime ministers of the UK, uh, Prime Minister of Australia, uh, King of Norway, and sportsmen and women uh, ranging from Sir Robert Bannister right through to current Sir Gold Medal winners. So, in fact, there were a couple of um, uh, blue boats uh, uh, guys in the, uh, in the restaurant uh, today at lunchtime. We're not just known for our sportsmen and women. You may have seen a picture of Beatles uh, behind the bar there. Uh, this was taken in uh, 1964. I've just come back from the first big tour of the States, so these were global superstars at the time. And the connection is that uh, Jeffrey Archer is a member of Vincent's at the time he was actually chairman of Oxfam. And he somehow convinced John Lennon to design a Christmas card for Oxfam. It's become a huge, huge bestseller and raised a huge amount of money for Oxfam. So thank you. Uh, he invited them to Brazenose for a meal. They really turned up, had a pre-drink in the bar, and uh, Actually walked from here to Brazenose across the road, and you, you know, you just with no sort of bodyguards at all. So it's quite an amazing story. The story goes on to say that um, halfway there they got caught the short because of a bucket loo, and there's some chap stood beside John Lennon and said, oh, God, that's John Lennon. He's allegedly said that uh, if I were a bottle back, it might be worth something. <laughs> <laughs> something on eBay. Okay? It may well be genuine. It may well pass through Vincent's uh, loo. <laughs> Um, uh, it is an amazing place, as I say, it's somewhere which uh, on a Wednesday night does get uh, uh, very lively indeed. You're probably seeing it on one of its quieter evenings. Um, and uh, we hope you enjoy your rest of the time in Oxford and in Vincent's as well. Thank you.